Dude, I cannot believe you're not coming to this Halloween party tonight. It's gonna be a movie, bro. I'm talking a full IMAX, 3D glasses that make you queasy, that type of thing. Dude, as fun as that sounds, I can't come. I already told you. I got a dentist appointment tomorrow, and I gotta spend the entire night flossing to make up for the past six months. Yeah, I mean, I suppose that makes sense. Yo, are you gonna bring Veronica with? Nah, dude, she mentioned that her parents were coming to town in a few weeks, and she wanted me to meet them, so I've basically been ignoring her on all fronts. Dude, you always do this. You go after these girls, lead them on, and then the second they want to get more serious with you in any way, you ghost them. Yeah, man, because I'm a dog, and that's what dogs like me do. Yeah, I don't know, man. I feel like at some point it's just going to come back and bite you. Dogs don't get bit, dude. Dogs do the biting. Anyways, I'm pulling up to this party now, and it's time for this dog to get off the leash. Sounds good, dude. Have fun. <sighs> yeah, no sunglasses. I gotta say, the point of a Halloween costume is to be scary, but you don't seem that scary at all. In fact, you're drawing me right in. Maybe you don't know how scary I can be. Try me. Here's one for you. What do you get when you date someone for a few weeks, lead them on, and then ghost them completely? Uh... Well, you get one free drink. Veronica, hey, how are you? How do you think I am? You've been ignoring me for days. Have I been? Shoot, you know what? My phone hasn't been working for a few days. I've been kind of beefing with Verizon, so. Nice try, jackass. Don't ever talk to me again. Yeah, well, joke's on you, because my original plan was not to talk to you again, so looks like we're on the same page. Here you go. I don't even want to ask what you did to that girl. We had been seeing each other for a while, but I kind of ghosted her. Ghosting? Yeah, you know, ghosting. Like, you completely ignore her and just never try and see her again. You've never ghosted anyone before? No, but I have had it happen to me before. Really? Well, it was back in college, and honestly, it was pretty hurtful. It was this guy, and we were in the same dorm, and we were hooking up for a while, but then, out of nowhere, he just stopped talking to me and never heard from him again. Well, it sounds like the guys at your school weren't very smart if they're ghosting a girl like you. Well, that's state for you. You went to state? Wait, so did I. What year were you there? Same as you. Matt. Uh, how do you know that? You don't remember me. We were in the same dorm freshman year. We were hooking up for a while. Then, out of nowhere, I never heard from you again. Oh wait, ghosting. Yeah, I have heard of that. Dude, I swear I have history with every girl at this party. What kind of history? Not great on my end. I've ghosted every single one of them. How could they be mad about that? Right? I mean, that's like playing Pong with a bro at a party, winning the game, then ditching the bro to play with a girl instead in the next game. Huh? Don't you remember junior year homecoming week? We were on a roll, Matt, you and me. I don't even remember you. And the worst part, the girl you ditched me for, I saw you ditch her for another girl, and then you ditched that girl for another one. Stop this. I'm a dog. This is what dogs do. Just leave me alone. <sighs> that was a nightmare. Pizza time. Hey, sorry man, I think you're at the wrong place. I didn't order any pizza. Yes, you did, Matt. Three years ago, you drunkenly called me and ordered a pizza. I arrived at this house, and I kept knocking, but you didn't answer. You had fallen asleep. It was so cold that I died. Now, I've been trying to deliver this pizza to you ever since. It's time to pay for your lack of follow-through, Matt. It's time to pay.